Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss White, your teacher, and we're going to talk about something that was in your bag that came home to you. And it looks like this. And you might have seen something like this last year when you were in kindergarten, but it's to help for you to check yourself. We call it check your engine. And so every day, check your body. How are you feeling? If you're feeling great, ready to learn, you're going to be on green. We call that regulated. But let's say you're feeling upset, angry, or full of energy that you just have to get out. You might be in the red where your engine's kind of too high. Or maybe you're just really tired and you don't feel like doing anything. You might be low, too low in the blue. And so if you're in the blue or the red, we want to teach you ways to get you back to the green so you feel ready to learn. One way is to breathe, and we'll talk more about that. Maybe you need to take a break from whatever's making you feel upset. Maybe you need to move your body to get some of that energy out or to wake up your body. All right, so we're gonna talk about that, but this is check your engine plate, and you have one at home now, and you'll have one on your desk at school, and it's to monitor your body. And then if you let someone know if you're feeling too high or too low, then we can help you to get your body back on green. I wanted to share this book with you. Some days I flip my lid. Look at this face. He looks really angry. But it's going to teach us how to get our bodies ready to learn how to be calm. Some days I flip my lid. My name is Max and I am eight. I'm in the third grade and some days are great. His body looks ready to learn. He looks nice and calm. On days that are great, my brain feels just right. I had a yummy breakfast and I slept through the night. When my brain is just right, I can listen and learn. I'm okay in school and I don't feel concerned. So that would be if you're on green. Your body is ready to learn, you're regulated. But then there are days that don't go so well because some days I flip my lid. Flipping my lid means I lose my cool and my learning gets tricky when I'm in school. This can happen on days when I don't sleep just right because I tossed and I turned in my bed all night. I toss and I turn when I'm worried or sad, embarrassed, confused, or just plain mad. Boys and girls, even grown-ups have nights like this when they can't sleep. Maybe they're worried about something and then you wake up feeling so tired. When I flip my lid, things happen to me that can change how I learn and listen and see. My face gets blotchy and my body feels tight. I say mean things and sometimes I fight. My knees get wobbly and I can't breathe. I want to run away or sometimes I freeze. Do these things ever happen to you? Do you flip your lid? Do you lose your cool? I know it happens to me sometimes. On days when I get mad, I flip my lid and I fight. It's never okay and it never feels right. When I fight, I'm like a tiger and I'm ready to spring. I roar with my words when my friend wants the swing. See, not sharing with your friends. I really don't like it when I fight. My brain feels tense and my fists get tight. After I fight, I still feel mad. So flipping my lid only makes me feel bad. My mom says tigers aren't allowed in school. She says I need to be calm and cool. Are you ever mad when you're at school? Do you flip your lid? Do you lose your cool? Some days I flip my lid when I'm confused or upset. I sit in my seat and I worry and fret. On days like this, my brain isn't okay. I just want to run or fly far away. Running away is also called flight. 
I do this on days when my head feels too light. When I'm in flight, I'm like a balloon. I soar high and free. I bounce in the air above the tall trees. I really don't like when I fly. When I settle back down, I just want to cry. After a while, my balloon shrinks and it pops. I'm still confused and upset and the worry won't stop. Oh, that was me, boys and girls, when I was little. I worried all the time. My mom says balloons aren't allowed in school. She says I need to be calm and cool. Are you ever confused when you're at school? Do you flip your lid? Do you lose your cool? Then there are days when I'm a little afraid. My belly feels jittery and it doesn't go away. When I'm afraid, I just want to freeze. My heart starts to pound and I'm weak in the knees. When I freeze, I'm like a snowman. I don't make a sound. I'm stuck in the frosty, frozen, cold ground. I really don't like it when I freeze, when my, knee, when my belly feels shaky and I'm weak in the knees. After a while, when I fall back out, I'm still scared and worried and just want to shout. My mom says snowmen aren't allowed in school. She says I need to be calm and cool. Are you ever afraid when you're at school? Do you flip your lid? Do you lose your cool? I know if I fight or freeze or run, my learning in school isn't much fun. I wish I could stop flipping my lid. I wish I could be a calm, cool kid. Then one day, mom and I took a walk. We sat by a pond and we had a nice talk. She told me we all have days when we're sad or scared or worried or just plain mad. She said flipping my lid is not a good way to learn and grow in school each day. Mom taught me a new way to deal when I fret so I won't flip my lid when I'm scared or upset. It's called mindful breathing and it's pretty cool. It's a way to calm down when I'm home or in school. Mom says it's a choice if I fight, run, or freeze. I can choose calm and cool whenever I please. The trick, she said, was to notice and see when I start feeling mad or shake in my knees. She told me to notice when my eyes start to close and then breathe on purpose right through my nose. Breathing on purpose is simple and neat. Let's try that now, boys and girls. Breathe in through your nose. <sighs> yeah. It helps me relax and it can be done in my seat. It's one mindful way to help me feel safe. I can do it whenever, anytime, any place. Here's how I do it. Here's how it's done. It all begins with breath number one. I'm still while I breathe. That's part of the fun. This helps me settle so I don't want to run. I focus my eyes on just one place. I breathe in and out while the red leaves my face. I breathe in and out as my eyes open wide, then my body and brain can calm down inside. Taking three mindful breaths a few moments each day helps me stay focused in a whole new way. Taking three mindful breaths stills my brain and my heart, which is a really good place for my learning to start. So the next time I feel like I'm losing my cool or flipping my lid when I'm at home or in school, I'll notice my feelings as they come my way. I'll breathe on purpose and watch my thoughts drift away. Remember, some days are tricky and other days are fun, but no matter what, we can choose not to run. We can decide not to fight or fly away too because breathing on purpose keeps our brain calm and cool. Would you like to try it too? So boys and girls, let's look back at our engine check. When you're feeling too high on red, that's where you can try the breathe, the mindful breaths. Let's practice three times. Ready, breathe in. Blow out. Breathe in. Blow out. Breathe in. Blow out. You can also take a break, 
you could walk away and come back and you can move, you can do some exercises. Now, boys and girls, I'm also sending you my virtual calming down place. And I want you to click on the pictures and check out more ways that you can calm yourself down. And it just takes a few minutes. It, you don't have to stay on it for very long, but have fun with it.